Memory is the lowest denomination of gameplay. That's the intro, that's it. If you don't want to watch another five minutes of me ranting. <laughs> yeah, that was a joke, I need watch time. Memory gameplay, after a while, gets very easy. If the gameplay of a level is good, it can be challenging to learn, but dying is entirely your fault. The learning process can be the most fun part of a level. But memory either requires tedious trial and error, or constantly looking at a video of the level to find the correct way. Stormfly even has guides on certain memory sections, which completely invalidate some parts of a level. Once you've memorised the sections, the only way you can die is if you randomly forget and then it's just back to the lab. On harder levels this can be extremely frustrating, especially when the correct path is hard to sight read. But as long as the memory is easy, it's fine. But in which case, why does it need to be a memory section if it's easy to play and easy to sight read? The core of Jump Shadash is building muscle memory and practicing, practicing and practicing until you eventually get consistent enough to get 100%. Yes! Yes! Usually, yes! You, <laughs> yes! Yes! you'd use the level's visibility in order to know you're doing the right thing and if you make slight slip ups you know exactly where you went wrong. With memory, it's as if you don't have any of that. Memory is also probably the second hardest gameplay to create, behind Duolo Asymmetrico. How do you how do you say that? Duales asymmetricos. Oh, that yeah, that. Unlike normal gameplay, memory requires either making blind jumps in order to force memorization or multiple semi-possible paths. Unlike a regular levels one or two. It seems unnecessarily more difficult to make memory gameplay. Okay, sometimes, sometimes it's more difficult. Memory sections which aren't as high effort in the separate paths are usually filled with copy and pasted blocks and orbs, making them boring to look at and sometimes even harder to memorize and play. With all those branching paths comes a whole bunch of extra decoration. And while most harder memory levels have brought about some of the most unique decorations, a lot have not. And besides, you don't play levels for the decoration, you play them to play them. Big Boom and Belloc both have alternate paths, but these parts are either mainly for decoration or they're completely visible to the player. Trial and error isn't required because these levels are so heavily synced that you have a grasp of what you're supposed to do before even practicing. There's one part in Big Boom where there isn't much clarity, but instead of spamming attempts here to no avail, it feels like I'm just learning the level. The fact this section is so short probably helps that. Every type of gameplay has flaws to it. Rocket sections are inherently harder on 60Hz and mobile. Spam when done poorly is inconsistent and when done well is boring and hurts to play. Duels are tricky to sight read and have the problem of ease that memory has. But without the stupid blindness, however, it feels like memory has some of the worst issues with none of the benefits and it's one of the hardest to make, so what's the point? In conclusion, memory bad. Is memory bad enough to talk about for this long? Probably not, whatever, video's over. Now, what ending joke can I make? So, uh, <laughs> why did the chicken cross the road? BOOM! Boo! Is this you stay off the Boo! stage! Ah, crap. I gotta connect with my audience. But how? Wait, I've got it. 2.2. <clears throat> That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Woo, let's go! Not